Everyone talks about time. From YouTubers like Ali Avdal or Madi Avela to writers like Oliver Berkman or James Clear. How to manage time and how to be productive with the time we have are really hot topics nowadays. Where you can just grab your phone, order a pizza, or your weekly groceries, or you can even buy a house. YouTube is full of these videos that say how to live with $2,000 a month, or how I spend $100,000 a year, or how much it costs to live in New York. Yet, no one has ever made a video on how to live 24 hours in a day. Until today. Multiple times it has been said that time is money or time is gold. Yet, that statement undermines the true value of time. Time is far more valuable than money. If you have time, you can obtain money. Well, usually you need to work for it. But having money doesn't grant you time. Elon Musk, the Queen of England, you and me are equally rich when it comes to time. We cannot buy a minute more than Elon Musk has. The supply of money is truly a daily miracle. You wake up and you have a wallet full of 24 hours of unmanufactured universe of life to dispose how you'd like. One thing is given. If you live up to tomorrow, you will have the same amount of the time as Elon Musk has on his wallet. That's 24 hours. You can do with it whatever you want. We all live 24 hours in a day. No more, no less. Time is the most precious commodity we have. You cannot borrow it, you cannot buy it, and no one, no one can take it away from you. No one receives more or less. It's a different story if you consider the movie In Time from 2011, where in this utopian world you get paid in hours and you trade goods for hours to live, you can live indefinitely, which makes inequality high among the rich and the poor. And the rich are more calm and don't hurry, while the poor are literally living day by day until the clock runs out of time if they don't do not work or they spend too much. You have 24 hours. With it, you need to shuffle health, money, content, respect, how to be productive, productivity tips, how to start a whole semester in one night, We've all been there. Life depends on time. Your happiness depends on that. If you run out of money, you can earn more, you can steal it, you can borrow it. But if you manage to arrange that an income of 24 hours is not enough to do everything you want to do, that's it. You cannot do anything more. 24 hours is all you have. And then you'll have a really big problem if you think that 24 hours is not enough. We have and will always have all the time that there is. Now let's look at the average person and their income. He's an average person that spends eight hours a day working and considers that to be the day. I mean, eight hours out of 24 and that's your day. We still have 16 hours. What you do on your eight hours, we don't care in this video. We care about what you do on your 16 hours. You should view your day, your whole day as your eight hours where you actually earn the money that you will live for to spend on your 16 hours. Your success in life does not depend on the eight hours that you have and you consider the day, but it actually depends on the 16 hours that you spend outside of the day as you consider it. During those 16 hours, you're free. Let me explain. Let's assume you waste little time when you wake up, you just brush your teeth, get dressed and go to work. You go to the bus stop or the train to your daily commute. You usually have to wait, let's say, five minutes. So you grab your phone and you start scrolling. Now you wait, uh, you wasted five minutes, and you sit down and you start with your phone and you start scrolling on your phone. You start scrolling, you start scrolling, and half an hour has passed, and you just wasted half an hour of your commute scrolling on Instagram to some content that will not be relevant in 24 hours. This content is made fast for fast consumption. You arrive to your office and I'll leave you there because those eight hours need to happen. Now after eight hours, I'll see you, you still have six hours left of your day. Let's say it's five, you commute back, you're tired. Well, at least that's what you say, you say you're tired. On your way back home, you've been building this feeling of being tired. So then you get home, you don't eat immediately because you want to relax. Then after one hour, you have dinner. And then you watch some Netflix and then at 11 you look, oh, it's 11, in half an hour I need to go to bed. So then you start preparing to go to bed and your day is over. Then you need to go to sleep. Around six hours since you arrive from home, 
are gone. Gone and forever and you will never get them back. What you should do instead is, when you arrive home at 6, you look at the facts in the face and you tell yourself you're not tired. Because you really are not. And then you arrange an evening where dinner cut doesn't cut it through half. Doing this will provide you with a clear expanse of 3 hours at least to do whatever you want. I don't say you use those 3 hours to fully exhaust your mental energy but rather use one hour and a half every other night to feel the cultivation of your mind in some way that you relax, you read, you learn. This will give you three other evenings to read, to friends, do sports, to go to the theater, to go to the movies, watch Netflix, and you'll also still have for around 40 hours from Saturday to Monday until you have to go to work. On the other time, that hour and a half, you reflect on yourself. Those 90 minutes, you can claim them in the morning, in the evening, whenever you seem that they are the best. Reading can be very beneficial as well, including learning about business, learning about the causes and effects of things, and learning about history and philosophy. You control your time, you own it, and you can do with it whatever you want. Now, everything I mentioned so far, it's not my ownership. It's actually the ownership of Arnold Bennett in 1910. Yes, 112 years ago. How he says things may be outdated, but the message behind it is what's important. How he portrays a message of meditation, productivity, habit building, and all of this was done in 1910. <laughs> he was way ahead of his time. It's crazy. Times when phones didn't exist, times when we were considered to be easier than now, where you could invent this camera and recording needed to be created, internet didn't even exist. Probably the parents of the person that invented internet didn't exist yet. They didn't have phones to waste their time on, yet he found other ways of explaining what he wanted to say. People back then used to read the newspaper and there were fast articles written for fast reading and they were considered a waste of time. So even a hundred years ago, they still found ways to waste their time. Times now will be easier than in a hundred years. At least that's what people in a hundred years will think. Oh, they had it easier. They could have invented an invention that in a hundred years exists, but not now, like, I don't know, flying cars. Well, I think they exist. Someone will look back like we're looking now back and we'll say, whoa, 100 years ago, life was way easier. They had the phones, they only had to work, they, had, they could travel whatever they want. Maybe in 100 years, the apocalypse is case. We don't know. Yet, there's only one thing that we can predict and it's procrastination will still be there. There will always be people that will struggle to allocate the time they have to the time they were given. The key takeaway here is that Time is a commodity we have full control over, and we can do with time whatever we want. Time makes us all equal. No one has more time than any other human being, and days last for 24 hours. It's what you do with it that matters. You can come from home and sit on the couch and be a lazy potato and watch Netflix and say that the day is over, or you can do something and consider the day just to be starting. And that's the mentality you should have. Now, outside of those eight hours that you consider to be the day, what are you going to do with it? Besides some meditation here and there, the day starts after you go out of your work, after you build your bread. Take advantage of the 16 hours you have left. You're a free person with free income to do as you please. And you have enough time to do whatever you want. After all, we all have 24 hours in a day. 